So at the Spice Tailor, we absolutely love curry. So I'm really excited to use one of our new curries from our new Southeast Asian range. And going further afield has just allowed us to explore a whole new genre of curries. I'm going to cook this really delicious Thai-inspired prawn and pineapple curry. It's really light and it's very tasty and it's got loads of texture. So we're going to start, as I do with all curries, and fry the spices and aromatics. My red chilli, my lime leaves, and there is some black pepper in there too. Give that a good stir. Once that's lovely and aromatic and you can start smelling those flavours, go straight onto your red curry paste. In that goes. I like to give that a good stir for about 10 seconds. You already smell all those really lovely flavors, the lemongrass, the kaffir lime leaves, the ginger. In with your coconut milk. So I'm gonna add in the fish stock. Perfect. So if you are vegetarian, you can absolutely do this recipe exactly as it is. Don't add the fish stock. Add some lovely tofu and vegetables and you'll be absolutely fine and you'll still have all that lovely deliciousness. So this is just fresh pineapple that I've cubed and let this simmer for about five minutes. And if you love that sweet and sourness that you sometimes find in oriental food, this is such a great curry for you. So we'll bring that to the boil, let it simmer for five minutes and then we'll get everything else in there. One thing that's really important to me and that I'm really, really proud of in the Spice Tailor is that none of our products have any nasties. And by that, I mean there's no preservatives, no artificial colors, only things that really belong in our food. And it makes me feel better when I feed my kids at the end of the day something that I haven't scratch cooked. And on that note, getting in lots of greens. So we've added some mange too, which we've just sliced there, and let it soften for just a minute before I add in the prawns. I'm gonna add a little bit of fish sauce, bring it up to a really gentle simmer, and once those prawns are cooked, you're good to go. Curry's done. It took literally six or seven minutes. So I'm going to plate it up in these bowls full of lovely rice noodles. And then pineapple looks just perfect, really soft. And you just know when you bite into it, you're going to have this burst of fruity goodness. Put a little bit of spring onions, some fresh coriander. And to finish off with some lovely vibrant red chilies and a little squeeze of lime. It's savory, but sweet. And it's just bursts full of freshness and deliciousness.